Hi guys, welcome back to the channel, or if you're new here, hi, my name is Lexi, and today we are continuing Jujutsu Kaisen Season 2, Episode 7, or I believe Episode 31, depending on where you're watching it, Evening Festival. Uh, last episode literally went by so fast for me, I think it always does when it comes to, <laughs> comes to the show because it's so good, but... Uh, last episode, we figured out that Yuji might have a love interest, question mark? Um, it's a girl from his middle school, and she was overweight back then, but despite that, Yuji chose her, or said that if there was any girl in the school that he does like, it would be her, because he was naming off things that are really... Things that I feel like boys don't really... <laughs> I don't know. I feel like things that they're just really out of character for a guy to say in middle school uh, about what he likes about a girl. But it, at the same time, it is very like innocent and sweet the way that he described it and total green flag Yuji is. But um, she ended up losing a lot of weight. She changed her appearance a little bit. Um, and now she's like wanting to, I, I guess she found the courage to approach Yuji, Yuji as like a love interest. She's liked him since middle school. So that was really cute. Uh, a cute exchange between like Megami, Nabara, and her at whatever like fast food place they were at at the time. Um, and they became like wingmen for Yuji. And you know, that, that was just like a really cute scene, but nothing really came of it. <laughs> he didn't even like ask for a number or anything. So that was strange, but um, maybe maybe love will uh love will find its way and you do will get a girlfriend that'd be really cute um we also saw nabara like felt weird about that um at first but she determined that it was just jealousy that yuji might get a girlfriend before she gets a boyfriend and it pissed her off um so that was pretty funny and then on the second half of the episode we learned that mekamaru um from the other jujutsu school that he's training under is the mole for Ghetto and Mahito and like that whole group. But he's doing it, it he made a deal with them in exchange to, to, to give them information in exchange for them to like heal his his body. And so that happened. He was healed. He's a good looking guy, right? And he like created this huge Mechamaru robot tank thing. I don't even know what it is, but Mahito and Mekamaru are, are about to start like this epic fight, I believe. So I'm pretty sure that's what this episode is going to be about. And then also uh, the blue haired like swordsman girl that's also from the same school as him. She like popped up. Well, first of all, she's it was shown her like poking him in the head, but then she also popped up in like his memory or something. So um, I'm interested to see what that's going, what like what role she has in all of this and what that was about. But yeah, uh, Mike Amaro, even though he was the mole and he made a deal with them to like provide them information, he, it seems like he's still on the Jujutsu Sorcerer sides, side of things and he's trying to get to Gojo, I think with information about uh, what Ghetto, Ghetto's plan is or whatever, but also for protection because, you know, Gojo's OP. Um, <laughs> so that's a smart thing to do. Um, but he needs to kill Mahito first before uh he can basically get past him to get to gojo so um that's what i think is happening but correct me if i'm wrong or if i missed anything in that quick little recap anything important uh, let me know in the comments below but i am excited to jump into this episode but before we do make sure to give this video a like comment down below subscribe to the channel to stay up to date on videos like this one it mean the absolute world to me if you could be a part of making this channel grow. And if you want to watch this video full length unedited, my Patreon link is in the description below, as well as early access to more Jujutsu Kaisen Season 2 episode reactions before I post them onto YouTube. Uh, so if that's something you're interested in, link in the description below for Patreon. All right, so without further ado, let's jump into Season 2, Episode 7 of Jujutsu Kaisen Evening Festival. <laughs> it just starts out like way like so cool. <laughs> oh, 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 okay. This happened last episode. Okay. I love how just excited he is to fight. Is that my Kamaro in the suit screaming or? <laughs> Shibuya plan. It's called the Shibuya arc, so we'll see. <laughs> oh. Face. 
Dude, the colors! Look at the colors! Whoa! Ooh! He's got some grippers on him. Yeah. <laughs> Jesus Christ! Fist in it. Oh my god. Mahito's enjoying this too much. To charge two years. Wait. Wait, 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 wait. He said one year, two years. Is it taking time off of his life? Is that how he can control that big thing? Oh, a trick up his sleeve, okay. Oh, shit. Uh-oh. I have four chances. Oh, he grew wings. Walk on. <gasps> What is that? What was that? Did it get him? What? Oh! <laughs> he just stomped the f out of him. <laughs> Did he mean to get his arm, like his shoulder? What? My soul was destroyed. <gasps> no way! He already regenerated it. Uh, okay, okay, okay. Okay, I thought he was gonna be like, I think it's taking years off of his life. I think that's what's happening here. Woo! Dude, the colors are sick! Look at that! Oh my god, he turned into like a weird cat wolf. And a bunny. And a rat. Oh my god, he turned into a gorilla! This is insane, he keeps changing! Okay. Uh-oh, uh-oh! What were those like little cord? I mean, those huge cords for? Fully healed Mechamaru is terrifying. How old is this guy? <laughs> He's uh oh. What the? F oh, f not no. No. Ooh! Ooh! My god! Ew! Oh my god, I hate his domain expansions. Whoa! He like... He just beefed up there, what the f***? No way. Is he really done? I don't want him to die. Nine years, five months, six days. Activity limit. Uh-oh. Why does everything happen, like, in Halloween and anime? それは平安時代。足や差立のによって公安された。オッケー。その技術を恋に問題伝えることを縛りで禁じられている。それは領域から身を守るための。うお。ドメインフォーザウィーク。新陰流。帰り。<笑><笑><笑><笑><笑> New shadow style. I just want to write this down because it seems super important. <laughs> this was was it, this is the domain style that was taught like in the very beginning of Jujutsu sorcery. Simple domain. Whoa! What? 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 What, what? what is she doing here? What is this? Ooh! God damn. Simple domain, yeah. A domain neutralizes all other techniques. What the f- Why is Mechamaru like a genius? This is insane. <gasps> uh oh. He's gonna fight him too? There's energy left. Oh, so it's not years off of his life, it's years off of his cursed energy? Or wouldn't that be the same thing? Confused. What? What? Whoa! 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 
Oh my god. He's yeah, fighting here. Dude, he has like every hat trick ever. <laughs> it just keeps coming. I can't- I can't- I don't know! I- I- The colors! What the fuck? What the fuck is happening? Mm, I don't like this. Okay, so he does like that blue-haired girl. That's what that was. Because she was like, ah, and it was all blushy, and then like the it was the whole like like cutesy little flashback. Yeah, he likes her. He loves her. Oh my god, does she like him back? <gasps> what? What? what the hell? That looks like Nobara's nail. What the f is happened to Mekamaru? I thought it was over. I thought the episode was done already. Holy sh! Oh my god, that guy's dressed as a wiener! What the f- Oh, sh she can't see it because of her cursed energy. Oh! But he can't. Oh, it's an invisible veil that they can't get through. What the fuck is happening? Shiguro,Tobari,結界の効力の足し引きに使える条件っていうのはな、基本呪力にまつわるものだけなんだ。Who's this guy? <laughs> Is he new? Oh, Kento's back, baby. Let's go. Bring Satsu. They want to bring Gojo. Ah, from entering the game. So many characters are being introduced. Panda! Hell yeah. Another guy that's new. Wow, everyone's having to do the take care of this. And they're all on standby. Oh, they're all just they're still just trapped. This <laughs> Gojo. That's so weird that they're all calling for him, but they don't know who he is. Oh. <laughs> Damn. Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. Is that Gojo? It's Gojo. Wow, he really showed up. <laughs> yeah, Mekamaro has to be dead. There ain't no way. I hope he's just, like, severely injured because... That'd be really sad. All right, you guys, so that was episode seven, uh, season two of Jujutsu Kaisen Evening Festival. Um, and the first half of that episode was insane. The fight scenes were incredible. They played a lot with like color and we got to see more of like Mekamaru's um, hat tricks. Like after one thing fails, he just quickly comes up with the next thing and boom, 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 right? And it seemed like Mekamaru was going to win this fight against Mahito. And it seemed like because we were watching through Mekamaru's perspective on everything that he had the upper hand the entire time. But apparently to Mahi like Mahito was just, oh, like, is too powerful. And we just didn't even realize it ourselves. And, um, well, I definitely didn't. I don't know about you guys. But Mekamaru, like, I guess had no chance from the beginning. Um, and Mahito was just kind of playing with him and <sighs> kind of uh, in a way like underestimating him um, because Mekamaru did keep coming back with like new tricks, new things that he could do. Uh, but in the end, Mahito won that battle. But is he dead? We don't know. We see like the, the Mekamaru um, big robot like crashed and like powered off and stuff. But we never really see him actually die or his like corpse or whatever so to me it's up in the air maybe it was obvious for you guys that he's dead or that he's not but to me it it seems like there's still a chance he could be alive and like just severely injured or whatever but i don't i don't see mahito and ghetto just leaving him alive 
Like, I don't, I mean, maybe they don't care about him enough and they just like, eh, whatever, like he's, he can't move, like we're out of here, right? But I, I just can't see them just leaving him alive, um, which sucks because, you know, it, it definitely showed that he was interested in the blue haired girl based off of like the flashback. It seems like he really liked her and she really wanted to get to know him too. So that sucks for like their story, but hopefully he's still alive and we get to see him maybe just like in critical condition or something, which I hope he's not, but like if as long as he's not dead, that's fine. Um, but love to see about that. It seems like Megami, Nobara, and um, and Yuji were out to find him, but it seemed like they just quit on that. I guess like it was a pretty big time jump since it like jumped to 10 days to Halloween. So I don't know if they found his body or what, but it like jumped 10 days to Halloween in the Shibuya district. And I guess Ghetto and his team like created this giant veil that only um, so Jujutsu sorcerers can pass through, um, get in and out, but Shibuya citizens or like the citizens um, in the Shibuya district at the time on Halloween are like stuck in there and can't get out. And um, I guess they have like this curse on them to where they keep calling for like Gojo, but they don't know who he <laughs> is to like get them out. But they're like, being made to say that. And then um, all of like the other Jujutsu Sorcerers are on standby right now. And we we get introduced to a lot of new characters. I couldn't tell you the names of any of them. So uh, hopefully we get reminded of like who they are throughout this season. But, we, but I'm excited about that because we get introduced to more characters, which means we get to see more fight scenes and we get to see like more curse techniques that are new. So I'm excited about that. And also the growth of like Yuji, Nobara and Megami and their curse techniques and and also Maki too. I'm really excited to see Maki, I'm really excited to see Panda, the guy with the cursed speech. I'm excited to see him some more and maybe even Yuta. I, don't, I can't remember his other name, but Yuta, the one that had like the promise ring and like the, the monster, or the cursed girlfriend. <laughs> but I, I hope he shows up too. I wanna see time skip Yuta like in action, so. Um, yeah, I, I'm excited to see more of like these new characters and returning characters and see how much they've grown, their power levels and, and all of that. And of course, Gojo did show up and is through inside the veil now. Um, he's been called, he's been summoned and, and now he's there and he's just super chill about everything, of course, because he's like the most powerful uh, sorcerer there is. Like, <laughs> he just walks in, accidentally pushes someone over and he's like, oh, uh, sorry. <laughs> Like, not worried at all, super chill, so classic Gojo. But yeah, overall, really great episode, and it seems like it's going to start picking up in the Shibuya arc now, since we are in literally Shibuya, and all the characters, and all the sorcerers are there, all the characters that we know, and new ones are there, so it's gonna be fun. It's gonna be, well, I don't know. Is it gonna be fun? I don't know. We'll have to see. Uh, but I'm gonna go ahead and end this video here. If you like it, give it a like, comment down below, um, and subscribe to the channel to stay up to date on videos like this one. It would mean the absolute world to me if you could be a part of making this channel grow. And if you want to watch this video full length unedited, as well as early access to more Jujutsu Kaisen season two reactions before they drop onto YouTube weekly, my Patreon link is in the description below, tiers two and three. And I will see you guys in the next one.